My name is Frank Iacobucci. I'm an ex-law professor, uh, an ex-deputy uh, minister of justice, uh, an ex-chief justice of the federal court, an ex-justice of the Supreme Court of Canada. And the other thing I will say that the Constitution is not just for the courts. It's for the governments. It's for the executive. And it's obviously for the parliament and legislatures. And ultimately, it's for the people who, in a representative democracy, act uh, through their representatives in parliament or in the legislature. They don't want to run roughshod over the charter or the Constitution. They take it seriously. Uh, and so, in our charter interpretation, uh, in specific cases, we have to be respectful of the product of our governments and our legislatures, and, and hopefully those bodies will be respectful of the role of the courts. Why do I say that? Because under the charter, under the constitution of any country, all the branches of governance, and I use the word governance, not government, but governance, which are the legislature, the executive, the judiciary, every branch is an agent of the people. Those are the principles, AL, those are the beneficiaries, those are the interests that we're serving, albeit in different roles and in different modalities and different missions, but it's the service of the public through the rule of law, through the interpretation of the Constitution, which is really at, at the bottom of what we do as judges. And the Charter gave, in my mind, Canadians, first of all, a magnificent statement of some fundamental principles that uh, are important to Canada and to define ourselves in many ways as, uh, as, as, as a society that really uh, will be respectful of those values. And of course, included in that were a, a set of, of, of freedoms and rights uh, that uh, ref are very respectful of minorities. And that's what Section 15 is all about, uh, multiculturalism uh, in the Charter, the Aboriginal uh, provisions in the Constitution. All of those are a real uh, manifestation of a theme that Canada adopted by the Charter provisions, namely uh, respect for minorities. And this is what is a departure uh, from the traditional model which said well, the respect for the minorities would come about through Parliament, through the legislatures, passing the laws that were to be respectful. But history, and this is one of these are some of the examples that Trudeau pointed to, where we had in history violations of that respect. In fact, it was disrespect: the Japanese internment, the internment of Japanese Canadians, uh, the the poll tax. Uh, on, against uh, Chinese Canadians um, and many other examples or treatment of Aboriginal uh, peoples uh, that you know are stains in our national history.